Eurocopter invited Vertical Magazine to evaluate the EC-225 helicopter at their test center in Marignan, France. The EC-225, and indeed the whole Super Puma family, has been in the news lately as a result of several high-profile accidents. And Eurocopter was understandably keen to showcase their helicopter in a more positive light and to discuss the steps they've taken to rectify the design. We're in the hover about one rotor diameter after the NH-90, hovering here at about 13 feet. The attitude retention system in what must be some mechanical turbulence is doing an exceptional job. My first impressions of the EC-225 in flight were entirely positive. In the hover, it's stable, predictable, well harmonized and responsive. My time at Eurocopter showed that the deficiencies in the EC-225 were being taken very seriously indeed. I was privileged to fly with Eurocopter experimental test pilot Hervé Jamerac, who knows the 225 very well, having been involved in the development of the flight control system and having played a key part in the gearbox investigations. We're going to do the departure looking at the uh, autopilot mode, yeah. so I can hit uh, airspeed, it'll hold you constant can hit airspeed. airspeed. And you can uh, hit uh, the altitude acquisition also. And it's also press, a. Yeah, it's preset already at 1500. Most impressive to me was the automatic flight control system with a wealth of forward flight, approach, and hover modes that were all easy to use, smooth, and predictable. The cockpit of the EC-225 is well laid out, although busy with systems and controls reflecting the complexity of the machine. Our brief engine failure simulation highlighted the effectiveness of the display systems. Uh, that's very smooth. That was uh, almost a 10 second period for the thing to uh lower the collective and uh, respect the uh, continuous OEI limits and the NR is now sitting at what, 98? That's normal? Throughout my visit, Eurocopter took pains to show the steps that they've been taking to address the gearbox deficiencies. They're making progress as demonstrated by the fact that 93 percent of the entire EC-225 and EC-725 fleet has returned to service. Reporting for Vertical Magazine from the Eurocopter Flight Test Center in Marignan, France, I'm Robert Oss.